I hate how culture has changed since Trump got elected. Now, you can, you can try to say, oh, it's not directly his fault. Well, maybe not directly. But the culture that's come from his being elected, the whole fuck your feelings kind of mindset, it sucked dry all of the silly, positive type of humor. It's just sucked dry. Here on YouTube, I've been... I've been subscribed to so many comedy channels that just pretty much stopped after Trump got elected. They just stopped. Because that doesn't seem to be what the culture demands. The culture seems to demand that the type of humor that's out there is humor at other, at other people's expense. It's about ponage. It's about... Making snowflakes feel bad. It's about trying to make Trump people feel bad. It's about misery. It's about all the bad things about human nature. I see very little silliness. And it's depressing. I haven't uh, had the gumption to make any more mystery, Kazoom's mystery commercial theater episodes. I haven't had the gumption to make music. I haven't had the gumption to do much but dwell in this shitstorm that society has turned into. On all sides. On all sides. But to me, someone can't claim to care about someone if they take the stance of fuck your feelings. If that's your stance, then how can you have really any empathy for anyone? Are we supposed to be proud of being apathetic? Is our apathy supposed to make us stronger? Somehow? When we don't have people's best interest at heart anymore? On all sides? Is that supposed to be good? And the more that one side does it, the more the other side does it. And the more this side does it, you know, it, it feeds on itself. The whole fuck your feelings thing. The left doesn't care about the feelings of the right. The right doesn't care about the feelings of the left. The left has become violent. Not deadly violence, but violent nevertheless. And the fringe on the right has become deadly violent. And yet people, some people are trying to claim that uh, the whole fuck your feelings mindset is, is a positive. Oh, we're ripping off the band-aid. Well, you know, people need hope. And there's a lot of people out there who have none anymore. I'd love to see some repair, some social repair. But I don't think I'm going to see it. At least not, not during this presidency. And if Trump gets elected for four more years, I, I don't know how our culture, I don't know how we'll be able to stand it, withstand it. I don't know if we'll survive it. The best economy in the world, the best economy in history, can't save us from cultural meltdowns, can't save us from a culture that has become apathetic. So, you know, when you, when you try to say, oh, well, Trump, Trump and the economy is doing, doing really good on the economy, is, is the economy the most important thing? It's certainly important. But is it the most important thing? Can it make up for ponage culture? Can it make up for a culture that the only humor that's left is the kind of humor that's at other people's expense? Can it make up for that? Seriously. This apathetic, fuck-your-feelings kind of culture is destroying us. It's destroying a lot of people. How are we going to get out of it? Will we have to wait until the end of Trump's second uh, term, if he gets a second term? Do you think we can survive that? Seriously. Message. Trump is easily the worst thing that's happened to this country in my lifetime. The Trump phenomenon. All the things that come with a Trump presidency. You know, we thought that we'd made so much progress. Now we can see that we haven't really made that much progress. And it seems like we're just slowly walking backwards. I hope we can survive. 
That's all I got to say.